And we're back. We're joined on the phone today by actor Joe Morton. You might remember him from uh, his roles over the years in Terminator 2, Speed, Crossroads, a lot of things over the years. He's uh, working on some new music now. He's got a new song. It's called Wake Up America. And he's uh, doing that with his uh, music producer friend, Kenny Lehman. Hey, guys. How you doing today? Very well. How about you? Excellent. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, thanks for uh, you inviting us. <laughs> well, let's uh, talk a bit about the new song here, uh, Wake Up America. What are the listeners in store for? So, Wake Up America is basically a call to action for um, citizens in our country, no matter their ethnicities or race or political, to sort of drop all that and come together and unify. That's, that's essentially what the song is about. And, uh, Joe, how did you wind up working uh, with Kenny? I, I read you guys have been friends for a long time. Yeah, we've been friends for about 50 years. Um, we've wow. been, we, have, we have done music together off and on in the course of that 50 years. Um, and we were actually in the midst of doing an album for me that had nothing to do with this song until uh, we came across this track. Kenny heard it at a friend's house. Um, it sent a, it was, like, the original track actually was done by a guy named Blay, who was Ghanaian. Uh, I listened to the track. It sounded terrific. Uh, the Ghanaian in that track had said, you know, was bidding Africa to wake up. And I thought, well, what an inspiration that is if we do something called Wake Up America. So that's where we started. Uh, we've been working on the song, believe it or not, for about a year and a half, maybe two years yeah. before we finally got it together. Um, because we were still listening to what was going on um, in, in the politics around us and in, in whatever else was happening. So uh, the song evolved along with all of that. Excellent. And Kenny, I know you've been in the business a long time, you know, working with Sheik, producing a lot of stuff. So, you know, obviously you know what it takes to uh, to make these things sound the best they can. Yeah, absolutely. The, um, the thing that I learned over the years is that you got to be willing to constantly change it, you know, uh, rethink it. We That's why we spent a couple of years doing this. As a matter of fact, what changed three quarters of the way through was we no longer were looking at the track from uh, Blay uh, from West Africa. We decided to make it uh, an American track, you know. So the rhythm changed about three quarters of the way through it, and it kept the integrity. That was the most important thing. We wanted to make sure that that kept the integrity of the message and so forth. And it did, and it did. But uh, I've learned that over the years that you got to be flexible. You got to be willing to take the criticism, which there was along the way. Yes. And, uh, and then integrate uh, what you hear, the feedback, and then start to make those changes. And uh, I love that process. Uh, you've got to get your ego out of the way at all times to be able to have that vision to do that. Those are the people that, that really succeed. Yeah, I mean, the, the overall goal was to come up with a piece of music that would uh, not only move your feet, but move your heart and move your brain. Awesome, yeah, and uh, Wake Up America, that's just going to be one song from, from a whole album coming up here? Uh, it'll just be one song from a whole album. It will be very different than the other songs. Yeah. Um, uh, it, it, uh, this song sort of came out of, uh, as, as we said, so what's been happening the last couple of years. So um, it will be part of the album, but um, it will be on its own as well. Excellent, and I know a lot of people know you, you know, from your TV and your films, but maybe a lot of people don't know you've you've got a pretty extensive uh, background here in music. Yeah, people have forgotten that I actually started off my career by doing musicals. Uh, the first thing I ever did was uh, Hair on Broadway, and ultimately uh, got a Tony nomination for doing Raisin, which was a musical version of Raisin uh, in the Sun uh, on Broadway. So yeah, music has been part of my life for many, 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 many years. And again, now that new song, Wake Up America, is out now, and Joe, I, I know you're still acting pretty regularly. I see you on TV all the time. And um, your career has been uh, just amazing to me. I mean, the credits that you have and just the different types of roles. And now you're throwing an album into the mix. Uh, it's great that you're able to uh, to pull all this stuff off. Well, I mean, I guess it's kind of like uh, stocks. The more diverse you are, the better off you are. So for me, the more the more I can do different things, uh, the better I feel. If I, I mean, if I can bounce from doing a play off-Broadway to a play on-Broadway to doing a movie to doing television. It just gives me opportunities to, to talk about different things in different ways because none of those choices are made arbitrarily. I usually make choices based on things I think are important to me or maybe to the world if that happens to work out that way. Well, Joe, i got to ask you about uh, your performance in 
One of the all-time classic movies, of course, Miles Dyson and uh, Terminator 2. That movie's on everyone's uh, top ten list. A huge movie for me when I was growing up. You know, it was uh, an amazing experience doing T2. It was the first time I'd done a movie uh, that big before. I'd been doing a lot of smaller independent films, uh, Brother of Another Planet being sort of an example of that. So uh, I had to learn an awful lot very quickly. One was um, when you do those big movies, uh, money is spent in a very, very different kind of way. Um, two, uh, the work for me was about the same. I had to go kind of do the same kind of research, et cetera, et cetera. But it was, you know, it was one of those films that sort of stuck, you know, which was great. Well, I'm not sure how often you've been asked about this, but do you have any insider's info on why we still don't have all the episodes of Grady on, on DVD? <laughs> Grady, well, um, I'm not sure you want all the uh, episodes of Grady. Um, listen, Grady was one of those things. Grady was one of those things that happened because Whitman Mayo did a favor for, for the network uh, when Red Fox decided he didn't want to show up on TV. And so through a lot of struggle, they allowed him to have uh, his own series. And unfortunately, I think the producers of that series just didn't do Whitman the kind, give Whitman the kind of respect that he deserved. Well, it is interesting to think, you know, some of these projects you do that, um, you know, maybe come out and are gone quickly. But, you know, 30, 40 years later... A lot of them are coming back, and you know, with the technology that we have, where you can kind of go back and uh, you know look at some of these things that maybe we thought were lost. I think that's probably true. I mean, I think sort of the same thing happens, uh, you know, in our politics as well. That we kind of lose ground in terms of what's important to us, um, and then it it kind of ebbs away, and then we suddenly turn around and say, "Well, wait, wait, it used to be like this, and now it's like this. What's changed?" And what's changed is we've gotten uh, complacent, and we've allowed certain things to. Uh, to ebb away. And again, what this song, Wake Up America, is trying to do is to wake people up to the fact that, no, it, it's not, this is the wrong time to be complacent. This is now the time for all of us to come together to try to sort of fix all of the wrongs that we think exist in our country. Well, again, the song is just out, and I know you're working on that album. Is there anything else in the works? Is there something else we should be watching out for? Uh, well, you know, as, as well as I do, that things are kind of happening slowly, and many of the things I think I'm working on uh, uh, nobody kind of really knows when they're going to happen, although I think I'm going to be shooting uh, a film based on Between the World and Me for HBO. Between the World and Me was a novel written by Tanahashi Coates. It was a um, kind of long letter to his son about what it means to be uh, black in modern-day America. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. We did a stage adaptation of it uh, a couple of years ago at the Apollo Theater, and uh, Camilla Forbes, who runs the Apollo, is now directing uh, a film version of it, um, which will be on HBO, I think, in October. Oh, hold on. One more thing I want to interject. If people need to uh, find it, uh, there are some Wake Up Americas, I believe, out there. Ours is Wake Up America, Lehman Morton. Lehman, L-E-H-M-A-N, and Joe Morton, Morton, M-O-R-T-O-N. Right. That's how they'll be able to discover it. Excellent. Joe, I'm a big fan of yours, and uh, definitely looking forward to uh, the rest of the album here, and Wake Up America sounds great. And thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. And again, that was actor Joe Morton and uh, producer Kenny Lehman, and uh, their new song, Wake Up America, is available now.